problem with the electronics a few days ago, and it came, and I came to the conclusion that the uh, might be a good video to make on how to troubleshoot these types of things. So, check this out. All right, so here we have everything hooked up. We got the radio on. Everything's powered up. The steering is on channel one. That works fine. But if I move the throttle, nothing happens. One way to check this, since we know that channel one is working, we can reverse the two channels. This way we can test to see. Oh, so now we have channel one, which is channel one, which is normally the steering, which is actually controlling the ESC. Now, if I try to use the throttle, nothing works. So this means that the receiver is no good. Just to prove this, I will hook up another receiver to the same thing. Okay, this is another receiver. This was a defective one. I'm going to hook up this one. Put everything on the proper channels. Channel 2. Channel 1. Plug it all back in. Power it up. So all the beeps, everything's working. The steering works. And the throttle works. So that takes care of that problem. It always helps to have a second unit or radio around. The very first thing you need to check is always, and I mean always, the power. Is the power getting to everything? Uh, with this setup, basically, uh, there's a couple of ways you can check to see if power is getting to it, if the lights are coming on, uh, if the servo works, or if the motor turns. So, you know, sometimes the servo won't work and the, motors, and the motor will turn, or vice versa. You switch the channels on the receiver to see you know, if you've got one channel that's not working and one is, to see if everything's working. The best thing that you can do is have either multiple radios or uh, use a friend's uh, receiver to test your ESC or your friend's ESC to test your receiver and so on and so forth. Uh, you can always find a way, because you can't, you can't really do any testing without having other components around to test with. So if you don't have any yourself, you probably have a friend that has components for you to test with. So let's go through this. Let's say you're not, your motor is not turning. What's the first thing you check? Power. Always check your power. That's always the first thing you need to check. If you determined you have power, by if you plug in your ESC and it powers up you have power now whether it's charged or not that remains that's up to you to figure out always do your testing with a fully charged battery and a fully charged good battery second check your connections make sure your motor is properly connected make sure your servo connectors are probably in. Make sure your ESC is probably connected on the proper channels. If your motor is not moving at all, but the light comes on to tell you that you're getting a signal from the radio, check the connections from the ESC to the motor. If that's not, if that doesn't solve the problem, try a different motor. Put a different motor on it and try a second motor. It could be that the motor is burnt. 
if your servo is not turning, try it on a different channel on your radio. If it still doesn't move, and you know that that channel is good because your ESC works on that channel, then you probably need a new servo. Or your connections are bad. You might have a kinked wire and so on and so forth. If nothing works at all, but you have power, you either have to suspect your receiver or your transmitter. If you have a second receiver, you can try that. If it still doesn't work, it's probably your transmitter. I think I'm going to have to make a flowchart for this, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So, troubleshooting is all about trying different components, different connections, making sure everything is properly powered, and it's basically logic. With the logic of it, you know, if you take if you take the connections, put it on another connector, and then it works, that means the problem is elsewhere. Not, you know, if you plug your servo into channel 2 and channel 1 where it's supposed to go, and it doesn't work. But if you plug it into channel 2 and it works, then it's probably your receiver. Same thing with the ESC. I wasn't getting any power before to the motor. We changed the radio. Well, actually, before we changed the, the receiver, we swapped the connections over. And we noticed that on the other channel, the ESC did work. Therefore, that is the radio.